Chewy, no, don't eat that. That's a piece of paper. <sighs> I love working from home. This is great. I'm Kelsey, I'm single, so we thought it would be funny and ironic if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they are supposed to have 100 children all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge, so if you're interested in those, the link will be below. Last time we chose a brand new home for the Impeachment family. I'm so excited to play in it. However, I didn't realize until just now that my dog's clearly on camera. Let's get into the game. So let's dive in to the Impeachishme family. They are now on this like island abode. We did just meet one of Romeo's friends at an event that Casey went to. So Casey, you know, she's looking for love. She just ended things with Aladdin. Clearly they didn't go right. Uh, and she had like kind of a one night stand with Faye which you know, resulted in the two latest loves in her life, Hannah and Elliot. She's gonna, you know, take her first sleep in her new bed in her new house. I really feel like that's kind of a big <laughs> momentous occasion. Are you okay, girl? That was like a creepy laugh. Okay, well, at least she's happy. <gasps> Mars and Blake enjoying the new kitchen. Oh, cute! They do still need to unpack. We haven't put everything up yet. Oh no, Elliot and Hannah are both very hungry. Ooh, it's been a while, but let's get some super efficient baby care for our babies. Oh, poor Elliot's really smelly. And then maybe bounce, bounce little Elliot. This is kind of mom's first hangout. Oh, Elliot did not enjoy that. Oh, Mars is dancing, throwing it down. Mars is enjoying our new record player in the house. Casey her overheard it from very far away as decided to go down to dance with Mars. Oh, Mars has already left, but Casey's decided she also wants to dance too. Well, I can only describe as children's music. Oh no, Bl oh no. Apparently Blake got woken up by a monster under the bed, which is really unideal to be honest. So let's get some of the monster night lights in here. All right, Blake, let's see if it goes away. Get away. Leave Blake alone, monster. Yeah. Oh no, Blake woke up August and he's like, what? Oh, Blake is uncomfortable. Look at her little skeleton pajamas. I stan our spooky witch girl. All right, why don't you go back to sleep? Everyone's gonna get a good night's rest before Friday. And I think while everyone's resting, I'm gonna check out this house and see where the best place would be for a hundred baby birth certificates. Oh, I see, they showed us. We're gonna sell that one because that one's not our baby birth certificate. Over here, we have 35, only 35? No, no, why would that only say 30? I literally put away 60. There's no way this is only 30. Let's see if maybe Casey had them in her inventory. Oh, she only has two. Oh my gosh, over half the birth certificates are lost. Oh, this is devastating. I don't know why I even said I was gonna do this wall. I can't believe this. I can't believe that happened. I don't even know what to do now. We still have Chelsea and Harry's graves, so let's put those in the backyard. I am devastated. I worked so hard for all those baby birth certificates. You saw me put all those away. It's just so hard to accept the fact that you made a mistake and you don't know how it happened. Well, we gotta move on, deal with the consequences of what happened here. Just really sad. Everyone's asleep at the same time. It's a impeachish may miracle. And the first to awaken is Mars, who needs desperately to go to the toilet. Mars, hit that toilet. You got this. Looks like Elliot's upset. Do some super efficient baby care for Elliot, our whiny one. Throw that baby up in the air like you just don't care. Oh, all the kids are starting to wake up at 6 a.m. They all need to go to the bathroom and they're all gonna try to use the same one. Mars, get out of the bathroom. Your brother needs to use it. Classic impeachment problems. They're all having breakfast. I think they all seem pretty happy in the new home. Mars is, oh, pl playing imagination. Might have just hit themselves in the face. And Hannah's crying. Sweetie, you can't, you can't fix this. Ask your baby what's wrong. This is a very convenient thing that the mom can actually ask the baby. And the baby thinks so loudly 
that mom can understand. Bye kids, study hard, have a good time at school. And as usual, Mars is kind of like behind. Mars, get off the computer and go to school. Everybody study hard. I'm so excited to see this like new gym. Who is calling to interrupt her cardio? When answering a question, August used forbidden words. August! But honestly, if anyone was gonna use forbidden words, I'm not surprised it's August. You know what? I'm gonna punish him. Don't say bad words at school, August. The principal's visit. Today, the principal is visiting Blake's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Classic Harry Potter situation. You're like a weird kid in class starting to show your magical abilities and the kids start picking on you. We've all seen it. What you need to do is just to sit tight and wait for your Hogwarts letter. So ignore it. Blake keeps her eyes trained dutifully on the board, hoping the kid will stop. Instead, the kid fires a ball of paper so hard it rolls up to the teacher's feet. Or maybe she magicked it. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and Blake gets to look innocent and studious. Good on you, Blake. Can't wait to send you to wizard school. We haven't even tried that. Oh my God, why? Why would you even want that? I've, you know, done some hills on a treadmill. Absolutely never would you catch me doing a 45 degree angle. Oh, she had fun, look at her. And then why don't you invite to hang out at your current lot? None of your children. <gasps> Tom Holland. No, we shouldn't. Even though I want to, we, sh we can't have another baby with Tom Holland. We have to invite her or Steven. Even after all this time, her friendship with Tom Holland is still strong. Steven will be right over to hang out, yay! Is it a little weird that she missed Steven through her son? Maybe. Haley, we're not going to be coming over. We're kind of just in the middle of nowhere here, aren't we? I wonder when Steven's gonna come by. Steven, Steven, I'm waiting. <gasps> here he comes, he's running through the rain in an umbrella. Ooh, running past, you know, the grave of our mother and our son running to the back door, to the side door, bold move. <gasps> he just went right in. Bold. Are you not gonna even talk to me? Uh, excuse you, Steven. Where is he going? Or oh, the babies crying? Babies are crying hard. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. He sensed them from downstairs. He's a good guy. He even like fed the baby and took care of it. Whoa, offer this man a foot massage. He deserves it. He just took care of Hannah and her needs. <gasps> They did a little European cheek kiss as a greeting. Ooh, he's gonna sit in this little massage chair. Whoa, this is weird. Ooh, he didn't like it. Interesting. Are they becoming better friends or what's happening here? I don't know if Casey's that good at foot massaging. I also don't know if this is a valid seduction tactic, but like, look at this man's face. He looks pretty zen. He looks kind of into it. This is weird. Casey, this is a little weird. He's complimenting his outfit. She's like, I love your Game of Thrones meets Blink-182 vibes. And then maybe, see look, the ask to leave is right here. This is ridiculous. I knew that was an option. Ask to leave is an option that normally you get with a sim. You can ask them to leave. Why wasn't that working that day? What is the truth? Oh my gosh, he came to sit right next to her. Casey, make a move. Make a move, Casey. She hasn't even showered after a workout. <gasps> it worked. He's liking her. Whisper some sweet nothings in his ear. Give him a little flirt. Oh no, there's a baby crying. Nothing can ruin a move quite like a baby crying, but she's gonna whisper in his ear anyway. Oh, he didn't like it. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up, Casey. Yeah, handle Hannah anyway. Find out what's wrong, you can get back to him, okay? Look at his face, he's like, that was awkward. Came on a little strong. Who's a good baby, Hannah? Who's a baby that needs a lot of attention? Mars's grades are up. Mars is an A student, congratulations, Mars! I really wasn't expecting Mars to be the only one that ages up. Our little curly-haired, green-eyed lad. First birthday in the new home! Oh my God. Gosh, August, you dramatic boy. He was like, I thought this was my last day of school. Wee! Mars just aged up. Mars loves being active, is a bookworm, and pick a number one through 12. It's four. Deviants, pick a number one through two. The answer is two. Okay, so he's athletic, a bookworm, and he wants to be mischievous. This kind of sings to me a ring of truth of him being a prankster. Maybe he wants to be a pranker YouTuber who's athletic and also loves reading. So he's like smart about it. Add some birthday candles. No, his curly hair went away. But he is flipping handsome. Look at this boy. He's green eyes, tan complexion, dark hair. Very tragic shoes. He makes a pretty good team. Okay, little prankster boy. I feel like, wow. Mars surprised us all. We weren't expecting it. Let's see what else everyone, oh my gosh, August, you drama king. Just get over yourself. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Mom's like bae is just over here. Why don't you go dance with him? Go dance with Steven, okay? He's downstairs dancing where your kids are. Oh, okay. 
Autumn, yeah, why, why don't you just go change the dirty diaper, Autumn? Autumn was gonna go up check on the kids anyway, but she's real mad about it. She's like never gonna have children. Look at that face. She's meaner than Olive. At least she helped though. She did a thing. Casey, meanwhile, is having a great time dancing with Steven. You ask about his career. No, Steven, don't you dare leave. Oh my gosh, we made no headway with Steven at all. I guess we'll just have to invite him over tomorrow. Oh my gosh, are you okay, buddy? August is having like an emotional reaction to this Laura Croft TV show situation. Casey, you really need to get it together with Steven. I know that like it's a little, it got a little awkward, you know, maybe you came on too strong and he is your son's friend. However, I think that you can make this work. Phew! Bless me. And there's no one there to tell you bless you because you're quarantined alone. Oh, Leo Jr., I think I'm getting a cold. I'm gonna grab something hot at the Spice Festival. Yeah, you know what, Leo Jr., I think you do got a cold because you spread it to all of my children very recently. If you still have that, maybe you need to go to the doctor. What is Mars into? Like, he's a little prankster. He needs to get a skill up to level three. So maybe he needs to start, like, pranking. He's about bravery. He's just gonna be that older brother that just teases mercilessly and doesn't know the line. His first victim is Connor. <laughs> and Connor's like, whoa, no way. Meanwhile, August is just sitting there like kind of disappointed in his younger teen brother. He's about his face. Be like, what kind of face you got? Even though his their faces look literally the same. <laughs> oh no, I think he just gave him some fake bad news. He really doesn't know where the line is. He finds everything so funny. We've reached mischief level two. Perfect. He's gonna invite Autumn to a fake party. He knows that she would really care. She's like, is there's gonna be a party in the Hollywood Hills? I have to go. He is mad. <gasps> oh my gosh, Autumn is not the right person to be like messing with. She is so riled up right now. Mars is already level three in mischief. Wait, August has a private journal? <gasps> Could someone read it? Oh my gosh, Mars after he goes to the bathroom is gonna find August's private journal and read it. All right, Mars, snoop in your brother's journal. See what's up there. He's reading August's journal. <gasps> Blake caught him and so did Connor and they're both so mad at Mars. Oops, he was caught snooping. Oh no. Autumn's still super mad. Mars, why don't you finally just do your homework? Who is it? <laughs> Autumn decided to go to sleep in mom's bed because she's so mad. Now mom's real tired. Then a little, little happy text to Steven and then go to bed. Oh my gosh, Chelsea's yeah. visiting the new home for the first time. Autumn's checking out the hot tub. She was the one that was asleep in the hot tub at the beginning of the season. And now she's getting in the hot tub as a teenager. Aw. Oh my gosh, she's falling asleep again. Okay, honey. <laughs> Some things never change. Please go to sleep in your bed. I think this is a pretty solid first day in the house. Everyone's asleep at the same time. Wait, what's what's Chelsea doing? She's putting away toys. She's cleaning up while everyone's asleep. <gasps> oh, oh my God, the OG mom. Just picking up the toys. The toys were scattered there by the person that made this build and Chelsea's just putting them away. She's feeling sad too, poor baby. I bet she kind of misses her old house, you know, and feels a little displaced being here in this place that she's never been before. It's okay, sweetie. Look, that's you, that's you on the wall. Oh, someone's awake, it's Blake. Blake is awake, really stinky, getting a, some breakfast tacos. Elliot's awake, which means that Casey's awake. Oh, it must be cold outside. It's fall now. Oh, look at her little fall outfit. This is so cute. The weather's all cold. Maybe Blake needs to do her homework. Oh, she's got the drone. Begin recording. Casey, hey, why don't you do something fun? Sing a song. I don't know. So that the drone can watch you do stuff. You know, I kind of regret this now. Even the drone seems kind of annoyed with her. Skill level three? You're level three and you sound like that, Casey? End recording. August comes to Casey and says, I'm hideous. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What did I do? Try some light makeup, okay? You're not hideous. So now we're gonna go to the video station, maybe edit it. She hasn't done a YouTube video in a while. Who's this? Oh, Ashton! Ashton came to visit, oh my gosh. Once Casey's done, she's gotta go say hi to Ashton. Hannah's upset and needs a conversation. I feel like August would be the kind that would go over to make a silly face. Oh, it takes a village of Impeachishmays to raise the Impeachishmays. Oh, I wonder if August is ever gonna be a little father of his own. Casey's hanging out with Ashton. 
she's checking in. She's like, welcome to the new home. Thanks for visiting, Ashton. Aw, she's so happy he visited. Ashton says, I need to get going. Thank you. He just came by for a quick visit. Mars is learning some dance skills. Maybe he's hoping to learn for the high school dance. Maybe I'll invite someone to the dance. Oh, it's taco time. Is it Tuesday? It's Saturday. All right, it is not Taco Tuesday. But you know what? Taco Tuesday is more a state of mind than a- Who are you? What the fork, Mars? What is this look? I literally didn't recognize you and I thought a stranger had come into our home. In fact, I, I'm still not convinced a stranger hasn't come into our home. Who are you and where's my son Mars? Ugh, our prankster boy. Making friends. I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't really seem to want to be friends with me. How can I make them be my friend? Classic Autumn. You can't force friendship, Autumn. Let's invite Steven to hang out again. We just need a second chance because we need to have a baby with him on Monday. Oh my gosh, is that? Steven? Why does Steven look like Joe from freaking you? What a creep. Compliment his outfit. Be like, you look just like Joe from you. Who is arguably handsome, but you know, maybe it was the foot massage that was a little weird last time. Oh, he's a secret agent? That is so cool. I don't care if you're tired. Seduce this secret agent man. No, <gasps> it's very flirty now. Ooh, a bold pickup line. Be bold, Casey. Steven's down to cloud. I think he was just in a bad way about his feet. Yeah! Offer him a rose. Be like, will you accept my rose? Joe, I mean Steven, secret agent man. Well, no wonder he's wearing a hat. He's a secret agent. He's gotta be Loki. We'll have Autumn change that dirty diaper, okay? Mom is just following after Joe. Oh, <gasps> what? Are they gonna hook up in the closet? While the baby's crying over here because it needs, oh no, oh no, and I already asked her daughter to come in to change. Oh no, she saw, she looked over the closet. Oh my gosh, the scandal. Get out of there, get out of there while you still can. No way, the baby's crying again. What does it need? What do you need? What do you need? Mom, what is she doing? Make out in closet? She did not ask to do that. That was definitely Steven's idea to make out in the closet. Oh my gosh, the scandal. She's like, hi. Hey mom, proud of you. Wait, what? Is she giving him another foot massage? Okay, I guess he asked her for one. Yeah, I think we should just let this guy, guy do his own thing and go sleep. Oh, noops. Okay, well, this is my own fault. Mom passed out because she was flirting too hard. Autumn's a little judgmental. Look at the kids just walking at their mom as they walk around her to go downstairs. They don't even try to like wake her up and be like, mom, get to bed. They're like, no, we've seen this before. Autumn's down, oh, what? Who just destroyed something? Who just destroyed this? Who done it? Was it Steven? Who destroyed the dollhouse? I did not see anyone go past this. This is so mysterious. Was it you, Harry? Mars is just having like a lovely little yogurt with his interesting ensemble. It's all good. You know what? We're gonna let him be. He's trying out some new stuff. Let's do some super efficient baby care, mom. You're gonna go back to sleep. Actually, woohoo is Steven. Get that going, you know? Ask him in. Wait, 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 please, please. My son, I can't, I can't scar you twice. Please leave. Oh my gosh, Harry is still there. And now he's haunting a sink as mom comes tiredly back with the man that she is going to make her lover very soon. Oh my gosh, now he's mad. He's gonna walk in and see what is his, is he gonna react to this? <gasps> oh no, he saw his mom in bed with Steve. Feeling a little embarrassed. Mom and Steven fell asleep. Oh, Steven looks like he's gonna head out. This is awkward. Standing in the room <laughs> with her ghost son while Casey giggles in her sleep. Yep, you should get going now, Steven. Goodbye, goodbye, Steven. Honestly, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Aw, August is feeling all confident now that he wrote in his journal. And I'm proud of you for putting away your journal. <gasps> it's winter. Well, no wonder it got so cold outside. Where's Mars going? All tired. No, Mars, no, no, no. None of my children are allowed to go near bodies of water while tired. You are going to sleep in a bed. March your butt back upstairs, young man. You should know better. Oh, our singing video got a hundred dollars. I don't know if that means it's very good. Wait, if he's gonna leave, maybe he should cook like a lot of things for everybody. Cause you know, I don't want him to go and like leave us all with no food. 
Thank you, Autumn, for helping around the house. I'm gonna be so sad when Mars is the one that's here and Mars like just wants to mess around with the kids. Dang, all this food looks so good. Who's this? Oh, Lucian's visiting? Whoa, what up, Lucian? Good to see you. Glad you, you know, aren't visiting all the time. Mom's getting some spaghetti for late lunch. It's 3 p.m. That's me when I eat at 3 p.m., 100%. <gasps> Steven's calling. He wants to take us on a date. Of course we'll go on a date with you, Steven. And then tomorrow we're gonna see you at home. Paddywax Emporium. I don't think we've ever been here before. Get to know Steven, go talk to him and say like, thanks for asking me on a date. He's family oriented. Oh, that's probably why he did a good job with the kids. Go inside the score together. Come here. Oh, whoa. Vampire is here. We know him from a spinoff. Look, she's talking about bats. She knows. She knows all the lore. It's been passed down from Peach to and Peach Oh my gosh, wait, is this our daughter? Oh my gosh, it's Holly. Oh my gosh. Tell Holly a funny story. Oh my gosh, our little queen. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's Ever. Go give Ever some family advice. Whenever she goes to hang out with her kids, she always ends up trying to go on a date with someone. But whenever she's on a date with someone, she just ends up going to talk to her kids. She's hugging ever. Oh my gosh, Michelle Peterson just walked in. She should flirt up a storm with Steven just to cause drama. Go kiss him in front of everybody. Did he see? Did he see? Did he see? Oh! He just walked through them and super ignored him. She's just like caressing his cheek. He's melting. She's got this man wrapped around her finger and now she's just walking away, going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, see you soon, <laughs> wait for me. Checking in in the bathroom, like date's going pretty good. Oh, go do a passionate kiss. Just run in there. Don't care about your kids. Don't care about anyone else here. Boom, just kiss. That was awkward. Everyone just stopped talking and looked at it. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nivea is so annoyed. She doesn't even know Casey. And she's like, who is this girl? She's so judgy. Oh, now it's an awkward encounter, mostly because all of these people had to witness what just happened. Maybe they need to go outside, kind of do their own thing. Sunday evening. The eve before, I think they're gonna impregnate Casey, but we'll find out, I guess, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <gasps> he disappeared. Whoa, I think you did a great job flaunting your new romance in front of your ex and your children. Oh, she just, that guy just checked her out and she checked him back out. Casey's finally home. Blake's still upset about the dollhouse. You know what, Casey, why don't you repair the dollhouse for Blake? She'd be like, no, it's okay, it's okay, buddy. He's like, I got this. I'm gonna tap it a lot with a hammer and then it'll slowly undent. I mean, that doesn't fully make sense to me, but that's fine. I just can't take him seriously. <gasps> Elliot aged up! Oh my gosh, Elliot's fussy? Great. And Hannah aged up, and Hannah's wild. Great, so our two ladies aged up. Oh, they're so cute. They have matching little bobs. Casey's gonna pick her up. She didn't even see her first steps. Aw, they put them both to bed. Oh, this is so sweet. Good night. And everybody go to sleep so I can fast forward time. <gasps> they're all asleep at once. Even the Todds. This is incredible. Wait, who's awake? Blake's awake. Mars is up. Also getting some taco casserole before breakfast. Oh, everybody's off to school. <gasps> I miss them all. Bye everybody. Bye Autumn. Study really hard so that you can leave and I could have more kids. Hannah does not want to learn how to potty train. Then you need to invite to hang out at current lot. Steven Anderson. Chelsea Jr. just came home. Oh, how cute. They're gonna get to chat with Chelsea Jr. The twins are so excited. Meanwhile, Casey's just using the toilet while we're waiting for Steven to come. There he is. All right, it's all coming down to this. We've got about like four hours until the kids come home. He is laying it on thick with her already. He just walked in and is immediately like, oh, hey girl. La da da -de da -de da And that's how you flirt. I'm Kelsey. Give him a little compliment. Are the girls, the girls are fun. Oh, one's hungry. Oh, one of them's sad and the other one's like, cheer up. So they got in a fight because this one's hangry. And I was like, I'm going back to dolls. This is ridiculous. Where's Steven going? You need to keep talking to him. Keep entertaining him. He's got to stay until the kids come home and age out. Hitting a foot massage for Steven. 
What is it about foot massages this episode? At least the massage is on the other foot. She's gonna go sit next to him. Yeah, just make out. Oh my gosh, it's so close till the kids come home. And bingo, grades are up. Connor's an A student. He's gonna be a teen. August is an A student. Autumn's an A student. Everybody aged up exactly the way I wanted them to. But with that comes the tragedy of having to say goodbye to two more impeachment May children. I will say these are probably the two brattiest children that I've had, or two of the brattier children, impeachment May children I've had. Case in point. Yes, he's an adult. August aged up and he hates children. After his time in the impeachment May household, August has grown to, to hate children. But he's very responsible and we love that for him. Now we're gonna celebrate this little lady's birthday. Autumn, she's gonna be a celebrity, I can just tell. And she's good, Oh, She might be kind of full of herself, but she's a good girl in the end. Okay, he's going to blow out the candles as well. Connor aged up. Connor is now a bookworm and pick a number one through 12. The answer is seven. Seven. Fortune, pick a number one through two. It's one. Connor wants to be fabulously wealthy and get rich. Wait, let's see what he looks like. <gasps> Whoa, Connor's a babe though. I think Connor's the new hottest in Peach's May Child. Connor is so hot. Wow. Okay, we're gonna save and go to Manage Worlds. We're gonna say goodbye to our two brattiest babies. August and Autumn are joining their siblings. Steven, yo! Try for baby. Casey, go get your man. This is what this whole episode's been about. Yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Baby making time. Remember when I was like so slow and nervous about it and now it's just like, all right, let's see if she's pregnant. She's eating for two. Yes! I just found out that Casey has two days until age up. That means after this pregnancy, she'll have like two days to get pregnant again. Otherwise, if we have a girl in this pregnancy, She's gonna be the next matriarch. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared. I'm glad that we are now pregnant with our next, hopefully two babies. We are currently sitting pretty at 62 children. See you guys next week when I look for the possible last partner for Casey. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the 100 Baby Challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, or check out some of our other videos.